absolutely thrilled. It's a real honour and um, it's my first nomination in Best Supporting so I'm really excited by that and uh, I mean an amazing team of girls to be nominated in, you know, Lara and Priya and uh, <laughs> it's just sort of, it's kind of overwhelming to me in all honesty. I don't think it's quite sunk in yet really. <laughs> I think theatre is incredibly important. It gives us a sense of escapism and I think just for those two and a half hours when you go and get into a theatre and sit set down in your seat, you can forget about all the struggles and the strife that you might be going through in your day-to-day -day life and you can just allow yourself to be submerged in a different world. Whether that world is of Shakespeare or tragedy or comedy or romance, musical theatre, straight plays, it doesn't matter. It's just allowing yourself to be somewhere different for just a little bit of time and I think it's incredibly important. Best piece of advice I've ever been given. Always believe you're enough. If you don't believe in yourself, why should anybody else? And just because you might not be right for a particular role doesn't mean that what you do isn't right for something else. So go in there, go in your audition rooms and just be you, give them what you've got and if it's appropriate then they'll cast you. If it's not appropriate, they'll bear you in mind for something else. So many. I remember sitting in the Halifax Victoria Theatre as a kid. We didn't get to come to London and see shows when I was when I was a child. We couldn't afford it. And uh, watching Hot Shoe Shuffle, which was an amazing tap show, and I loved every minute of it. I, it. The tap dancer in me was was crying out for that show. My first West End shows that I saw were things like Blood Brothers. I went to see The King and I on my 18th birthday. I think it was the third time I've been in a West End theatre. And I sat there in the very back of the gods with my mum and my brother, watching The King and I, and going, Mum, Mum, I'm going to be on that stage one day. She's like, Yeah, dear, whatever. So many, so many tricks. Michael Ball is a terror. He's an absolute terror for it. He's so naughty. Um, we used to have something on Chitty called Slap Saturday, where we'd put names in a hat and the person who was pulled out of the hat basically got seven bells knocked out of them on stage by people either slapping them on the back very hard or, you know. And whenever Michael was picked out of the hat, he really, really got hit quite hard by most of the company because he was terrible for it. He's very naughty. Um, that and on the final matinee of Zorro, I'm sitting in the bath and I'm not wearing very much and lovely Mr. Matthew Rawl um, is supposed to hand me a towel and on the very last matinee of Zorro, he handed me a flannel and I sat there and looked at him because I was not moving until he'd handed me the towel. There was this absolute sheer panic in my throat going, what if the towel is not here? What do I do? Nowadays, I'm just on stage naked anyway, so hey, never mind. Um, but that was possibly the most overwhelming moment in that show. <laughs> it's really naughty.